Hey everyone, just a quick update to the Wi-Fi video I made a couple of days ago. I'm just going to quickly jump in here to say if you've not seen part one to this video, there's a link in the description. It will make this video make a lot more sense if you do watch that before you watch the rest of this video. Thank you. One of the questions that I got a lot was the range of the Wi-Fi and how far away you can be from your computer and how you might use it in different scenarios. So I did a quick test in the studio that I have access to. The iMac was connected to the Wi-Fi of the camera and then normally I uh, was shooting within kind of 10 to 15 meters away from the iMac and connection was perfect, didn't drop out, there was no loss of connection. Not a lot of people know that the Z6 and the Z7 have a separate processing unit which is specifically de dealing with the um, Wi-Fi settings. So the connection is actually really stable and really, really impressive. I wanted to push that a bit further and see how far I could go. So I took the camera upstairs up one floor and took some pictures upstairs and then walked back downstairs to see if they were transferring to the iMac and they were. So even when you're in central London, a lot of Wi-Fi radio noise going around and then shooting one floor above up a set of stairs um, could have maybe been about 20 meters away. Um, you still get the connection. The little Wi-Fi symbol in the bottom right hand side of the camera was showing me that the signal was weak so obviously that's pushing it right to its limit but it still was sending the files through. Now the biggest thing about the Wi-Fi transfer is it's not the fastest solution on the face of the earth. So I wouldn't use it instead of a WT7. I wouldn't be using it instead of um, a cabled tethering system, for example. Um, it normally takes around about 30 seconds to a minute to transfer a raw file, depending on how good your signal is. But as a backup solution, so if you were just shooting in the studio and you just wanted pictures to be saved to your computer and you weren't too concerned about how quickly they were being saved, works really, really well. And also as a solution where you may have forgotten your memory card reader or you may have forgotten a connection cable or an adapter and then what you need to be able to do is get your pictures from your, from your camera to your computer, that's where the Wi-Fi comes in.